Pissed off! Son of the world here. We have got to put a lure at the bus stop over here because last time there was a lure, there was an Abra that popped up. Every time there's Abra on the sightings list, he pops up in this location. So if he pops up within the 30 minutes, he's going to be here. I fucking hope he is. I got pincer from the incense and motherfucking... Who is that? Pidgey from the lure? The Venonat, he, Venonat would just spawn there like just now and shit. Somebody dropped somebody off right fucking here. Like, really? Ain't that fucking stupid? Oh, 28 CP. I could use him against Magikarp when I train up some gyms. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I gotta straighten out after this shit, too. I fucking, I, I catch up on getting more Pokeballs, and then I keep losing them because of this fucking Pidgeys! Fucking Pidgey, man! Fucking Pidgey! Fucking Pidgey! Fucking Pokemon! Fucking Pokemon! I think maybe I should just drive around doing this shit. Because we'll find out who pops up. And then we could make the incense work too. And I hope it's not fucking making me look like I'm driving in a fucking cir in a straight line when I'm driving in circles. Great, you're crossing the street right now at the perfect fucking time. You don't know what you're doing. What the hell? There's nobody fucking coming, you dumbass! What a fucking idiot! Maybe Court Street. And then I'll do a video with all those lit up, and I'll drive past all of them, and I'm only going to stop for the good Pokemon that pop up since it's hard to park on fucking uh, Main Street because everybody parks like fucking assholes. They drive like fucking assholes. Park like fucking retards. I mean, fucking my dog could probably park better than them. Come on! How long is the goddamn light for? You want to let me turn on red? Hello, God! Now you think that's your fault too? Because you have the good pokey stop over here. I'm not going through Main Street. I'm not going through State Street. God damn. How long is this fucking light for? Hello? What the fuck? Uh, what the? Goddamn better turn green. What the fuck is that, Niantic? You trying to control the lights too? You fucking assholes. Now I gotta speed back before that Pokemon despawns. They only stay there for like one or two minutes, something like that. Someone told me like two minutes. <clears throat> he was like level 32 when I was like level 28, 29. He's the one who he's the one who told me to name my Pokemon, <laughs> and that's why I started naming my Pokemon. That's why you see the Donald Trumps in there and stuff. Fuck you! I turn on the wrong fucking block. Just great. At least I get the Pokey Stop. Oh fuck you! You stupid bitch! That's not from the incense. What the hell's coming from the incense? I just drove 200 fucking meters. Niantic! Wow, you're gonna stop at the red light. 
Why do you fucking wait for the last minute to fucking stop at these fucking lights? Fucking ratatap appears? I drive fucking 400 meters. Fucking ratatap fucking appears. That's bullshit, Niantic. I'm fucking sick of this shit. Now I gotta fucking... Go! Stupid fuck. Dumb bitch. Don't try to tell me you're catching a Pokemon. I did that, not you. Wow, go through a stop sign like a fucking idiot and shit, right? What these idiots are doing in the middle of the fucking road, man? God, he looks like a fucking terrorist. Fucking piece of shit. Looks like he's about to bomb somebody right now. He's got a giant suitcase with him. That's not parking right there. I knew it. Why no Pokemon pop? Huh? Huh? After all the time I just fucking spent. This is fucking bullshit. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, lemon toki. Let me put your Loki in my bokey. Ah, I got a Captain America shirt on right here, too. Oh, now somebody pops up, huh? Fuck this driving shit. Oh, no, the terrorist is coming my way with that big bag. Motherfucker. Try to bomb me? I'll fucking... I'll take both of us out, bitch. I give a fuck? No, I don't give a fuck. Nobody miss me. Not even my fans will miss me. Shit. If I die tomorrow... If I die... You probably won't see this video. Oh well, though. This guy look like a goddamn sailor walking in the fucking street. I hope he tries to say something to me for fucking not letting him cross since he doesn't want to look both fucking ways. Oh my god, I got that gym. Got that gym. I'm gonna take it over. I'm gonna take it down. Now that we know how to take them down. Don't fucking look at me, you piece of shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? He's fucking... Oh, no, he's going on a fucking bus. He's gonna about to blow up Manhattan. Stupid son of a bitch. Fuck with me. Why do they walk in the middle of the fucking street like idiots? Like, there's a fucking sidewalk on both sides of the street. Like, he didn't even go on the sidewalk to go past me. He went around the car in the middle of the street trying to get fucking hit. He's already not using crosswalks. Dumb motherfucker. I feel bad for the people on that bus there. I got a chance of getting blown up. <clears throat> I want the Pokemon come up on the goddamn incense. Uh, what? I said I got to get up on the goddamn incense. You understand me? <laughs> this guy was walking on the sidewalk. He, he just saw me go like that. He, he went to the other side of the fucking street. Walk on that sidewalk. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. That is funny. <clears throat> Whoa! I knew it. I knew we'd get fucking something good. I fucking knowed it. I knowed it. I knowed it. Well, it's not an Abra, but still. It's a goddamn Growlithe. I'll take a goddamn Growlithe. I need Growlithe. I gotta find a Growlithe nest, man. I'm serious. Or a town that has them in him. Growlithe pops up in Hackensack, but really not that much. Like, the past couple days, I have not seen a Growlithe on the sightings. Like, it's rare in, in Hackensack. But you still see him, like, once in a while. But it, you, you gotta be lucky at a certain time of day that he's there or whatever, you know? <laughs> I'm losing my voice again because goddamn Niantic. After this, we're going to go back to that gym on State Street. Not that one. But any, the one next to this one is a level 6 blue team gym. Our, our team gym. Team Mystic, you know. I, I think I could train this one up. I'm not sure. I got to see what kind of water Pokemon I have at 1200. 
I mean, if I got a Seedra like that, I, I bet Seedra would destroy this Magmar. Train that up to level 30. But I, I really, I, I feel like if I train these up today, I'll regret it tomorrow morning when I see, like, some, some asshole team, a red team went out, and they fucking took it over or whatever. Because, you know, tonight's Saturday night. The kids ain't going to be fucking sleep, going to sleep early. They might be out late fucking hunting my goddamn gyms. I mean, it took, it was hard enough to get my other fucking level 10 gym back to level 10 from level 6. Either way, nice fucking job. Johanna CV, Kill Toki CV, Kill Tokyo? Huh. Papa Poopies, Papa Poop, why would you make that your fucking name? Papa Poopies. So you're Papa and you poo and you pee? There's me. Turbines. Illusionist 100. Quaddle bit. Quaddle bit. You're a bit behind there putting a fucking 1200 Magmar. Why don't you have a... You don't have a 16, 1700 Magmar. You don't have like a Snorlax. You don't have a Dragonite, a Gyarados. I'm talking high CP... Over 1500 CP. Let's do. Not. You don't even have a Poliwrath or an Executor. I mean, I'm giving you all these Pokemon you could put in there. Did he come from the incense? I have no fucking idea. I want to know why my incense ain't fucking working. God damn. God damn. God damn. Venonat came up. Oh my gosh. He's with her? Fuck. There's this cute Asian girl. Oh man, nice and thick too, just the way I like him. A little short, but I could deal with that. Damn. And she's with him? A guy that fucking tall? The fuck? Wait, they, that was weird because they literally crossed the street to the other side, the opposite side I'm on right now, and then when they got to that other side, they came back to this side, like a zigzag or so, or a triangle, like, what the fuck? <laughs> you forgot what side of the street you were on? Or which side of the street you had to be on? Oh, fuck you. What is this, Bowler City? I knew it. Cool. Oh. What? Coco Lo. Coco Lo Frank? I thought his name was Cool Frank, if this is the same guy. But, uh, I'm gonna turn the car off. Fuck this. Waste of gas. I seen this guy taking over so many gyms back and forth, back and forth. He was going back and forth with somebody like two days ago or yesterday. I'm gonna take your gyms down. I'm gonna take every one of your gyms down. You understand me? The data chip, well, at least it's not, at least it's the data chip, at least it's a f real fucking name. Melorel, Melorel? What kind of fucking names are these, man? Okay, he didn't come from the lure, did he? He just popped up. He just decided to pop up when he felt like it, even though he's probably here the whole fucking time. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Fucking bitch. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. You fucking wanker. You fucking wanker. Suck my dick, you fucking wanker. Come on. 85,000, huh? 108. Kilometers wall. I don't even know why I keep fucking walking with him. I mean, what? If I get a thousand kilometers walked with him, I'll get some kind of huge prize? Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. If there's no prize for a hundred, then fuck you. Because a hundred kilometers is a fucking lot. One hundred kilometer. One... 
I'm trying to think what one kilometer would be. Around the Saddle River County Park, that big lake, that's one kilometer. It, it's not a full mile, though. It's not a full mile. Oh, I, I, yeah, I get it. It's, uh, I think one kilometer is 400 meters. 400 meters is, uh, well, if you've seen a football field, a lot of football fields, they have a track around the football field where people run and stuff. That was my favorite sport. Track. Well, basketball was, but, uh, after I started doing track, I fell in love with track like Rocky fell in love with boxing. God damn. But the track, one lap around the track, that's a quarter mile. That's 400 me. That's 400. Yeah, 400 meters. So one kilometer is around. Let's. Okay, that lake's pretty big. Let's say between 400 and 800 meters. No, no, no. Between 400 and 700 meters. I think. I would I don't know. That lake is almost it's it's a little bit bigger than the actual track. So uh Let's see here. I'm going to say about 500 meters is 1 kilometer. So, I don't even know how to do the math on this one, fuck. 500 meters per one kilometer. Sixteen hundred meters is a mile. So, um, I need paper or something. I don't have paper right not with me right now. What's the fucking math with this shit? I'm trying to see what a, how many kilometers is in a mile. Shit, I'm fucking... I, I suck at math. I, I can't do it. No incense Pokemon? Come on. So about <clears throat> three kilometers is fifteen hundred meters, which is almost a mile. It's a hundred meters less than one full mile. So basically, really, I knew something popped up. I knew something did. So almost every mile, pretty much, if you round it off to a mile, every mile you walk, you get three kilometers in the eggs, or three kilometers for your buddy Pokemon. In my case, every mile I walk, I would get one Grimer candy. So 108 divided by three, uh, yeah, I can't do that. Forty times three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve. No. Fuck, I'm trying to figure this out. Thirty five times three. Hundred and five. Close to this number, close enough. I'm getting confused just thinking about this. So I walked almost, okay, so that means I'm a little bit over 108 kilometers, so I walked about 35 miles total, 
Well, some of it's driving, some of it's walking, but to get over 100 kilometers for your buddy Pokemon, it's about 35, about 35 miles. Not full miles, but almost miles, rounding it off, you know? So if you walk 35 miles, you get 100, over 100, over 100 uh, kilometers for your buddy Pokemon. Is there really nobody popping up right now? What the fuck? Growlithe was a highlight? Oh yeah, guess who we caught before Growlithe? Oh, now you want to pop up, huh? Fucking bitchy. Can't give me a Bulbasaur, bitch. So, 65... No, so... So, 70 miles? So, 70 miles is, uh... 70 miles will get you two, over 200 candies. I mean, 200 kilometers for your buddy Pokemon. And 105 miles... Total, which will take a long time, is uh, 300 kilometers, over 300 kilometers, way over 300 kilometers, probably 330 kilometers for your buddy Pokemon. If you're trying to get up to a thousand, that's the math. Just follow the pattern I did because I can't keep fucking doing the math right now, <laughs> fucking confusing the fuck out of me. I, I fucking suck at math in high school. I was good at history, art. Uh, English, and creative writing. You know what's really funny? I had cooking for ninth period, and I would always see people coming out of there with really good-looking food, smelling good. My, my friends would give me their food after they did it, and it, it was good. And it was mostly baking anyway. I mean, it wasn't really even cooking. It's baking. They teach you how to bake. They don't teach you how to cook. I mean, we ne they never brought in a fucking chicken for us to cook. They never brought in fucking... Nothing for us. I don't know why they call it cooking. They should call it baking. But either way, one time, I went into uh, the, my ninth period, right? It was my ninth period, the last period of the day in high school, cooking. And, I, you know, I think I was getting, like, maybe B's or something, or C's so far. And then around, like, towards the winter, I had a sore throat really bad. So I had a scarf on, and I would put, on, I would put it underneath my shirt and stuff. And she's like, you can't wear the scarf. The scarf or whatever, in, in, while we're cooking or whatever. I'm like, it, but it's under my shirt. She's like, it doesn't matter. I'm like, bullshit. Even nowadays that I, I'm an experienced cook, I know it fucking doesn't matter. I mean, I've, I've, I've fucking worked at restaurants where the cooks do that shit when they're sick. Like, really, they don't get fired. They don't, their bosses don't harass them like that. But this stupid bitch teacher has to be a stupid bitch. Miss White. And she was black, too, and her name is Miss White. Go fucking figure. She pissed me the fuck off. I'm like, oh, fuck. I was like, you know what? Fuck you then. Bye. And I just walked out. I didn't even go back to the class for like two weeks later. Well, not even two weeks later. Two weeks pass by and I go to my guidance counselor. I'm like, I'm not going to that fucking bitch. She's harassing me. She harassed me. She said I can't wear a scarf in the class even though I'm sick. So what the fuck? Am I supposed to miss out a whole day of school because I can't wear a fucking scarf in one class? Yeah, I, I fucking, I reported, I would fucking complain about her. They fucking got her ass in trouble, too. She got, like, a strike or something like that. Yeah, I, I actually made it so that she's not a, a, a eligible for tenure. She can't have fucking tenure now. You know what tenure is? It's like you work for, like, ten years or something, or... And, and, and you have a good attendance, you have a good record or whatever. And then, uh, you can't, you basically, after you get tenure as a teacher, you can't get fired. That's basically what it is. And you get all these benefits and all that. So I fucked that up for her. And I'm so fucking happy I did. But what's really funny is I ended up dropping out of cooking in high school. I hated cooking. My whole life. And then fucking comes... What's, what comes next? Fucking, I start working at my first job at Mirancho. And basically, you know... God damn, Radicate, you son of a bitch... Fuck you. And I started doing deliveries as a delivery driver because my friend, he's a, his dad owned the owned the restaurant and my friend would work as the uh, the waiter during the day. So, you know, it was, it was fun. I mean, it was hard work. I worked, I worked fucking seven days a week at first. At first, it was seven days a week. 
I mean, I got 50 bucks a day, and then the rest tips, unless I did overtime. Because, you know, this is when you get paid cash, like five an hour. And But the tips help. They make up for it, though. God damn, run away and fucking get in the ball! Dumb son of a bitch. Wow! Either w fucking way, tired of this radicate interrupting my fucking story. The first day, the cooks cooked me the quesadillas all day. That's all I liked, really. You know, I grew up, I, I grew up never having Mexican food until I started working there. So that was the first time I had it. Well, actually, in a, around sophomore and junior year, we worked there, but uh, we only handed out flyers to houses and stuff. But, you know, for back then, when you can't get jobs anywhere else, that was a pretty decent job. You know, you just put the, the menus on the people's doors and stuff. That's it. And then people ask about the food. All you got to do is say, yeah, it's good. What do you like? Oh, the quesadilla. That's all I fucking eat. <laughs> and they, they started out small, and now they really got busy. Well, after I fucking... Did some power years in there. They got fucking busy. After they made me general manager, that's when they got busy. <laughs> oh my god, come on. Pidgeotto? First Raticate, now Pidgeotto. Are you kidding me? Why don't you just disappear? I'm not going to fucking catch you. I'm going to go on with my story. Because you're a little bitch, Pidgeotto. Basically... After the second day I worked there, the cook, sometimes they'd be busy. Whenever I would ask for, like, a, a quesadilla or something. Whenever I would ask for a quesadilla, the cooks didn't want to make me food. So I was either, and this is a true story, by the way. It was either starve or it was literally either starve or learn how to cook. And I had to learn how to cook. So I went in there. I watched them make a quesadilla that somebody ordered, and I just copied what they did. <laughs> exactly, everything. And then, I had quesadilla for like, I had quesadillas for breakfast, lunch, and dinner over there. Because we work from 10 in the morning to 10 at night. Sometimes 11 at night, because you gotta clean up and stuff after. Some people don't respect the fact that you close at fucking 10, and they wanna stay there till 10.30. <laughs> Then I have to stay because one of the fucking waiters is supposed to sweep the fucking floor and I'm supposed to mop or whatever. Or we switch every now and then. But you can't do that when the customers are in there for 30 fucking... Too, so fucking late. Like, they're so inconsiderate. Why? Who the fuck turned that shit on? And then either way, after that, I started learning every item on the menu one by one. I would watch them make fajitas. I would watch them make Arrows con pollo. That's, that's actually the second one I started with. The arrows con pollo. Because I really like the arrows con pollo. Nowadays, I don't like it that much. And uh, the carne asada, fajitas, tortas, the specials. I learned how to make every fucking item on the menu. It took me maybe like, maybe like five months to learn every fucking item. But I fucking learned it in the first fucking five months I was there. Minus like two to four weeks out of eating the quesadillas every day, whatever. I forget how many fucking days I ate quesadillas. There's so fucking many. But I had to learn everything by scratch. And I, the thing is, there's nobody teaching me this. Nobody could teach me this. Because they're speak, they, they don't speak English. And I, only speak, and I only speak English. They don't speak English. They only speak Spanish. So I was... I basically could not ask them any fucking questions. I mean, once I learned a little bit more Spanish, I started asking them questions and stuff. And I that's when I started to learn how to make the sauces and all that. And then basically, the torta's really good. Then I started making my own recipes. Then I made the taco de gringo. Look at, oh, I didn't post a video of my taco de gringo yet. So uh, I'll try to get a video editor and, and edit it because it's really long. And there's like five different parts of it because the video kept, the, the camera stopped recording for some reason. The, the phone, whatever. And then, uh, I had, a, I had like my own cookbook and I had all these different recipes. I had over a hundred different recipes that I would experiment in the fucking, I would experiment in the fucking kitchen. Like whatever I would make, 
whether it was good or bad, I would have to eat it. And it would most of the time be my fucking, uh, my own food. God damn. Let's collect Pokestops. Let me, I'm gonna show you guys how to collect Pokestops the real way. God damn, the fucking, they fucked up the street over here so badly. Why'd they fuck it up so goddamn badly? Either way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the, from the beginning, from Hudson Street. I'm gonna go to Main Street from Hudson Street. Oh yeah, basically, I made the taco to gringo, and the cooks loved it. My friends that worked there loved it. The owner loved it. He loved it so fucking much that he ripped it off and he made like tacos something and it looked it looked it looked a lot like my fucking tacos because it was used with flour tortillas and nobody usually uses flour tortillas for tacos. That's why mine was so unique. But the thing is, I would make mine more like a quesadilla. Like there was one side that's hotter than the other. I don't know how to explain it, unless you know what a quesadilla is. You know the inside of the quesadilla is softer than the outside, like the outside has a brown stuff on it. That's how I make my taco de gringo. And he basically did the same thing, except he didn't make it really, he, he, would, uh, he would cook both sides of the flour tortilla. That's why mine was better, mine was crunchier, it tasted better. It had chicken, steak, lettuce. Tomato, onion, and cilantro. It doesn't have the jalapeno in it like the pico de gallo. Because it's basically the same thing as pico de gallo, but without the jalapeno. Or, and the lemon juice, or whatever. The lime juice, whatever that is. And then, he stole that fucking recipe from me. He altered it a little bit to make it look like he didn't steal it. I was like, what the hell? You stole my recipe. He's like, no, no, I just make it different. <laughs> fucking asshole. Should have gave me money for that. He made that a fucking special of the day. And that shit people fucking loved. I'm talking, I was such a good cook by the time I started, like, within half a fucking, within half a fucking year, I was cooking so good, I would make breakfast, like, I might, I might have pictures of it. If you want to, if you want to see the things I've cooked, let me know in the comments. I'll make a video because I'll, I'll just do, like, a picture thing. I'll find the pictures on my, on my computer, and then... And then I'll put them, I'll show you guys through the video and all that. Maybe do like a collage or something like those other people do on YouTube. Because, I mean, I'm talking, there would be somebody coming in at like, as soon as we open at 11 a.m. Like, literally, as soon as we open at 11 a.m., these people come in. There was like these older people, older Spanish people, I think. Or there's older white people, I forget. But they would always like... They what I was eating, I forgot what I called it, but they're like, oh, could you make us that? I was like, oh, yeah, sure. Well, actually, first, she asked the waiter, and the waiter's like, well, the cooks don't know how to do that. The, the delivery driver made it. <laughs> Get a pokey pokey. Anybody there? Somebody double parked here. Thank God, I means I could go slow. Here, pokey pokey. And anyway, I forget what I made them. I really do. It was like scrambled eggs inside of a, like an enchilada with scrambled eggs and uh, onions and cilantro. And uh, God, I don't even remember everything I had in there. And I think there was like some kind of chicken or chorizo. Chorizo is a Spanish sausage, if you didn't know that. It's, spi it's a little spicy. Not that spicy, though. Some are, some chorizo's really spicy, some aren't. Back then I ate spicy like crazy. I mean I would mix the red and hot and verde salsas, the red and hot sauce, the avocado sauce. I would mix all the sauces up and shit. I was crazy like that. I would eat spicy like crazy. I, I don't understand. Now I can't even touch this stuff. Well now I, I fucking try. Well either way, that's for another time to tell you how I fucked up my stomach so badly. That's why I eat pizza every day. That's right, I'm not just some idiot that wants to fucking have pizza every day because pizza's awesome. I literally can't eat anything else, mostly anything else. I'm very limited to the things that I could actually fucking eat in this world. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, go turn right in front of me, right when there's fucking people crossing the street, you dumbass. Piece of fucking shit. 
What a fucking idiot. I'm going to go all the way down because I want to try to take that gym. We'll train it up a little. Since last time it was an error and shit. Look at my video for that. It's probably the shortest video I fucking have. Wow, then you have to fucking turn. Dumbass. But yeah, like, in the morning, that's why I have Subway. Because it's healthy and stuff. And it's easier to eat for me. God damn, I do have to make the left at the light, huh? Yep. Oh, it's this light, not Passaic Street? Okay, that's good then. I mean, in order for me to eat, I have to, um, how do you say? I have to drink fucking like two or three bottles of water in the morning just to get hungry. I mean, without that, I would never be able to eat nothing. Like, I, I try to swallow something, eat it, swallow it. And it just comes right back up. Literally, I got fucked up stomach. I mean, I had my stomach pumped a few years ago. And then they gave me medicine. I didn't take the medicine. They told me, oh, you know, for a month or whatever, take this medicine every day. Don't eat, don't drink any beer. Don't drink alcohol or whatever. Don't eat ketchup. Don't eat anything with food coloring in it and all that shit. Yeah, fuck you, you dumbass. What are you looking at? Stupid. And then, pretty much at that time, I was partying almost every night, every weekend, a lot of days during the week. Uh, I just fucking had a big fallout with the girl I was fucking around with. And uh, that very night, well, yeah, basically the very next night, there was a party. We went there, we got drunk. I forgot my fucking wallet in my fucking... At the fucking house. So I was the designated driver and I was fucking driving drunk like a motherfucker. Polly rolls around. I was driving like a fucking drunk. And <laughs> we actually fucking went to the fucking corner store in Hagensack. The party was around Garfield somewhere in there in the house. And please work this time. And the guy wanted me to take him, he, he gave me some free weed so I could take him to the, cor to the corner store. And then a detective pulled up and I was like, oh fuck, I'm fucked guys, I don't have my license. And I'm drunk. And then the, one of the, the, the drug dealer got out of the car, he's like, oh yo Johnny, what's up? He knew the fucking detective. I was like, thank God he knows the fucking detective, man, holy shit. I could have got so screwed over there. Oh, it's working now, huh? Let's see. I don't want to speak too soon. And anyway, <laughs> that party, i that's what, that tall guy you see in my videos, the one we call Skinny Snorlax, or, uh, or, uh, Waldo, the tall one, motherfucker, he videotaped me once sometimes. Yeah, uh, that's the first day I met him. God damn! And that's the first day I met this girl that I got fucked over in Ecuador with. Come on! Why does your special take so goddamn long to do? You dumb motherfucker! I gotta fucking dodge this shit. What the fuck? This is bullshit. I'm not wasting my fucking potions. God damn! Fuck you. Anyway, that party, we all ended up, uh, me, these, uh, two other girls, the guy, um, one, two, three, like, three other friends, we all went to this girl's house to sleep over, because we were all drunk and shit, and then, uh, next morning, got everybody's number and all that stuff, actually, the one Spanish girl I started fucking around with, I found her on fa on uh, MySpace, because that's when we had MySpace back then. And man, it was fucking hell. With we, She took me to so many fucking parties. So many fucking parties. Die! Go on, use Body Slam, you fucking bitch! 
Dude, I vote. You saw me. I was dodging the entire fucking time. Yeah, you can't use that again, huh, now, bitch? Gotta use Psychic. Dude, I beat him before. I don't get this. This is bullshit. Stop using goddamn... Dude, that is such fucking bullshit, dude. I was dodging! Wait, what the fuck? Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Somebody else trained it up to, le up to level seven when I wasn't here. Oh, well, shit. They did my job for me. I'm not training it up to fucking... If you, you if you could train it up to level fucking seven, you could train up to level eight. I would train it up, but I mean, somebody else got to put a Pokemon in here. One. Well, I like this. Snorlax, Snorlax, Nidoqueen, eh, da, uh, Dragonite, Snorlax. Vapor, Vaporeon's okay to leave in a gym as long as it's very, very fucking strong. Like this one is. Other than that, I was fucking happy as hell when I saw people have Snorlaxes in the gyms and, da and Dragonite. Let's get gyms filled up with Snorlaxes, Dragonites, and Executors. Let's go for that goal, Team Mystic. Every gym around, Hackensack, T-Neck, Pagoda, Maywood, Rochelle Park, Paramus, River Edge even. Well, let me know if you do the ones at River Edge. I barely go there. Uh, yeah, and we still got to explore a lot more places, but we, we have the incense for it. We could do some more incense videos. Let me know where you guys want me to do incense. Like where or some place you've been to that they have a lot of good Pokemon popping up. Like a, like in Hackensack, don't tell me Hackensack. Tell me what street, what street, what park, whatever. It's like how I tell you, I get the good Pokemon in Hackensack, but I don't get them just traveling along the streets. I go by South, well, South Hackensack and Hewler Street. South State Street turns into Hewler Street. Or State Street turns into South State Street, turns into Hewler Street, whatever. But I'm running out of lure modules, so uh, I definitely got to go back to Edgewater one day. I'm going to Manhattan tomorrow, I hope. Well, I, uh, uh, fuck, I got a lot of work to do, too. I don't know what I'm, what's going to go down, but bye.